another episode of Sip and Sarah. Today on the show, a subscriber sent me your recipe to try. She knows I love guacamole. Um, and it's a guacamole with cream cheese. So I'm going to say in the title, guacamole with cream cheese. So I've got two ripe avocados, one block of softened cream cheese. And I'm just going to take a fork and start mashing. I'm breaking up my avocado into my cream cheese. Make sure you get a good rock. Now, if you want to just put a salt in a blender, you can. I'll get you a, your hand mixer out. I'm just going to mash. If you want it real smooth, I would suggest blend it, okay? I like my chunky, smooth. That doesn't matter. I love guacamole. songs I do sometimes. Mash and mix, mash and mix, mash, 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 mash and mix. Okay, now we're gonna do some salsa. I've got some homemade salsa here. Two tablespoons of that. I have cream cheese mixed with it on the side. This is some leftover quesadilla. So you need some Sour cream and salsa too. About uh, two tablespoons of each. Now don't worry about the recipe. It's going to be written out. Scroll down under the video. Alright. We're going to need some salt. Some garlic powder. The, the wrong end. Let me see if I can pull out some of this. Make sure you use the shaker side and not the up side. Alright. My peeps. Just getting some of the rocks collected on the top off. See, I ain't gonna mess up in the kitchen. I wasn't paying attention when I opened it. I want all some garlic, but not a lot. Then I'm going to put a little bit more sauce inside, take out some. I'm going to take oh, out some of the cream cheese out. And not cream cheese, but sour cream. So, what should we get? Okay, let's shut this thing and put that away. So I won't add any more of it. Okay, a little bit of onion powder. And then I need my black pepper. Let's see you can see it. Black pepper. Alright, and then that's everything, so we're going to just mix and mash, mix and mash. I see a couple pieces that we still need mashed. So let me go in here and mash them. Let's mix in, mix in. Now, if you want to grate some fresh... Garlic and vinegar, friendly chopped garlic, you can. I would just do a clove. It's better 
to let, uh, she said, to let this chill in the refrigerator with the lid on and let their flavors blend and mix. Um, so we're going to have this with some leftover quesadillas tonight. Good. I'm so worried since that garlic dumped down in there is going to be too garlicky. But it's perfect. I'm going to like that because cream cheese makes it really creamy. You know, all the colors are already creamy anyway. So that's what we're having in the house to go with leftover dinners. Our quesadillas. Is guacamole with cream cheese. That's really good. Heck, I would even dip carrots and celery up in this. This is really good as a dip, too. I'm like a. With veggies and stuff. Or you could do crackers. Alright, see you next episode of Super Sarah. Bye, everybody.